Data engineering right now is one of the most trending fields in the software industry and there is absolutely no surprise to the fact that big product based companies like Amazon, Google etc are looking for good data engineers out there. And hence in this video we are going to talk about how can you get hired as a data engineer in Amazon. So without any further ado let's get started with this video. So first of all let's take a quick look at what basically is a data engineering role and what does data engineers do. So data engineers are responsible for building systems that collect, manage and convert raw data into usable information for data scientists and business analysts to interpret. Their ultimate goal is to make data accessible so that organizations can use it to evaluate and optimize their performance. In this video, we are going to focus on uh, data engineering roles that exist at Amazon. So obviously we are going to look at levels that exist for data engineering roles at Amazon and how can you apply to them? What are the things you need to prepare? How does an interview process for a data engineering roles looks like at Amazon? The salary ranges of data engineers for different levels and also we are going to talk about the various resources for which you can look up for data engineering. So let's jump into the first section of a video that is the levels for data engineering roles at Amazon and how can you apply to them. So the first level is D1 slash L4 which is very similar to the SD1 role at Amazon and the minimum required experience is 0 plus that is even a fresher can apply to this role. The second level is the L5 or DE2 data engineering 2 that is very similar to SD2 level and the minimum experience required to apply for this role is around 2 to 3 on average. Next is the L6 or the DE3 role very similar to the SD3 role and the minimum experience required to apply for this role is generally 5 plus. Now how can you apply to data engineering roles at Amazon? So you can go to the career pages of Amazon. You can search for the corresponding levels according to years of experience. You can take the job ID and ask for referral basis on that job ID or else you can directly apply to that particular job ID. So as you can understand I'm giving you these level names according to the years of experience so that it helps you while you are searching and filtering out the job ID. Now let's take a look at what are the things you need to prepare to be able to sit for a data engineering interview on Amazon. So first things first, you need to be conversant with at least one programming language, preferably I would say Python since it's data engineering. However, for the DSA rounds, there is no language constraints as such. The DSA questions would be basically uh, easy to medium level. You don't need to prepare any hard topics like DP or graphs. The questions would at most be of medium level. Second uh, topic that you really need to prepare well is SQL. So the SQL would be typically a little bit hard than what you expect in a software engineering interview. So you can expect the SQL level to be mostly medium, sometimes hard as well. So based on the levels, let's say if you are uh, applying for D1 level, then the SQL uh, levels won't be that hard. It would be medium. But if you're applying for D2 role and above, the SQL can include, you know, knowing some complex join operations and stuff like that. So on the SQL side, I would highly recommend you to know joins and solve some SQL problems on it. Uh, know about the case statements, uh, group by operations, writing sub queries, etc. Also, you need to have a solid understanding of databases, both transactional and NoSQL databases. You also need to have an understanding of big data, data warehousing and messaging queues as they're very important in this field. Also, it is better to have an understanding of public cloud services like AWS, GCP or Azure, any one of them and, and know what are the typical big data services it provides. Now, let's take a look at the interview process uh, for data engineering roles at Amazon. So the first round, especially if you are a fresher, can be an online coding round where you can expect questions from DSA, SQL and other CS fundamental questions or else it can be a phone screen round as well if you are an experienced professional. Once you clear the phone screen round, you would be invited to the on-site rounds uh, which would consist of around four to five rounds on an average. Uh, which will also include a bar reason and hiring manager round. So in these rounds, you are typically expected to uh, answer questions based on DSA, SQL, data warehousing, you know, data modeling and the things which I have already mentioned in the things to prepare section. So guys, getting a job in Amazon, Google or other product based companies is not that easy. It requires a structured learning path with the right strategy to get into this top product based companies. For SD roles in this top product based companies, you should be proficient in data structures, algorithms and system design and skill slash platform has taken an initiative regarding this. Let's find out that what they are doing. So do go and check out the link in the description down below. It would be there in the first line of the description. And now let's continue with our video. Now let's take a quick look at the salary that you can expect for a data engineering role at Amazon. So for D1 level, you can expect a base of around 10 to 20 lakhs. There would be some joining bonuses and some RSUs and the total average comp for the first year can come between 18 to 30 lakhs. This compensation numbers can go up and down based on the offers in hand, your current CTC and a lot of other factors. For data engineering too, you can expect a base salary between 30 to 40 lakhs. There would be some joining bonus, some stocks and the total comp can come around between 40 to 55 lakhs. 
again these numbers might vary go up and down based on different parameters that i always keep on mentioning in all my company review videos now let's take a quick look at the resources that you can follow to prepare for data engineering roles uh, so i would highly recommend you to go and check out edwaker's youtube channel because they have a lot of insightful content on data engineering apart from that you can check out learning journal as well as e learning bridge uh, youtube channel also blogs by analytics with the on data engineering are very very helpful so that's it for the video guys uh, if you are like this video don't forget to smash the like button to make youtube ever happy and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more such informative videos also don't forget to let me know down in comments that which is the next role or next field uh we want me to make a video on and i would be more than happy to make a video on it also don't forget to check out my lld playlist i will attach the link in the description down below and also my other company review videos i've also talked about front-end roles at amazon as well as cloud slash devops role at amazon so don't forget to check those two videos as well i will attach the link in the description down below I will see you in the next video till then stay safe and goodbye